Hello, parents. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Fast Math Freebies at Home Edition. Do you have a third, fourth, or fifth grader live in the state of Florida and want to help your child prepare for the Fast Math Assessment in May? Well, if you're answering yes to all three of those questions, you are in the right place. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I am a former Florida public school teacher on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. For years, I've been creating resources with teachers in mind. And now I'm expanding my impact to create affordable and engaging math video lessons and practice for you to use at home with your child. The following free episode is actually a part of a free course. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box, enroll in the course today, and you'll have access to all of the fast math freebies, the video lessons, and the printables for this grade. And now it's time to dive into that free episode. So let's do it. They're graders, I've got your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. And then when you're ready to check your work, press play, come on back and let's do this thing. Welcome back third grade, let's see how you did. All right, so this problem says that Siobhan goes to the library at the time shown. At what time does Siobhan go to the library? All right, let's go ahead and take a look. So we've got a clock here and I'm gonna go ahead and try to see what time it is here. So I'm looking at my minute hand, it's right there. The minute hand is the long hand and it's between the 10 and the 11, but it's not between 10 minutes and 11 minutes. Actually to determine the minutes, we have to count the little ticks that are around the clock. So if I start at the 12 and I count by fives, I get five, 10, count with me, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, let me stop right there because I'm at 50 and I'm gonna count by ones now. So 50, 51, 52, 53. So we have 53 minutes on our clock and the minute hand is actually over here. So I would drop down and put the 53, select the 53. So if this were a computer-based test, you would click on that drop down menu and select the answer that you want, which in this case, it's 53. Now it's time for the minute hand. Nope, let me try that again. Now it's time for our hour hand. So this is the hour hand. It is the shorter hand. And we can see it's pointed between the 11. Let me get rid of some of that just so I can focus in and show you, but it's between the 11 and the 12. And these are between two hours. This means that it's not quite 12 o'clock yet. It's almost 12 o'clock because when this minute hand continues to go this way, there's only a little bit of time left before the next hour. But this is the hour of 11. It's not quite 12, it is 11. So again, click my drop down menu and I'm going to select 11 right there, or I would click on it on my computer-based test. That's how you do this one. Go ahead. Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, if you're looking for the principle that goes along with this video, you can enroll in that free course today, which gives you access to this video and the printable and all the other videos that I've created, the Fast Math freebie episodes, all in one place for you. And you know what? If you're anything like me, it's out of sight, out of mind. I know that you're busy. So why don't you go ahead and do that now? That way it's off your plate. You take care of it and you can get your instant access today. Thanks again. And I cannot wait to see you inside the free course.